Hey everybody, how's it going today? Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about chipping. Um, I'm currently working on Bandai Slave 1 uh, ship from Star Wars. Um, this is a pretty iconic ship. Uh, anyone who knows Star Wars knows that this ship is indeed Boba Fett's. So, what I'm doing is I am currently working on making the chipping effect um, that you see on the ship. If you look on the back of the manual here, it tells you know, I mean, this thing looks pretty weathered, pretty chipped. You know, paint's worn off. You can see the primer that's underneath. So that's currently what I'm working on. And what I used was the hairspray method. I know there are many different methods for chipping, but I chose to go with the hairspray um, because it seems easier than a lot of other methods. And the hairspray I chose was the Tresemme uh, Level 3 Hold. Um, you can find this stuff at pretty much any big box store. Um, it's not really that expensive. So, I mean, this is 14 ounces in here. So, I mean, this is this will get me through quite a bit of uh, chipping uh, episodes. So, and right now I'm working on the lower portion of the ship. Um, this is the forward portion. And this is the effect that I have so far. So you can see it's a pretty dramatic effect. Um, the colors I used, I used the Tamaya Gray primer underneath. And then I used the uh, Tamaya Red Brown on top. Um, to give so I can so I have that effect so I think it looks pretty good pretty nice contrast between the two now for tools I'm using a q-tip and I pulled one end off a soft bristle brush a wooden dowel and I'm using this end here not the pointed end um, and then a eraser and then of course a bowl of water and what you do to get this process going so what I'll do and I'm, I'm kind of using the picture as a guide to kind of do the chipping effect because um, I don't want to go crazy with it but I still want it to look you know pretty good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this panel here since I've already got all this done and I I think that looks pretty good. Um, I don't want to overdo it, so I'm going to work on this panel here. So what I do is I just take the part and I'll dip it in water. I mean, this process can be a little messy, so if you're a neat freak, um, maybe just have some paper towels uh, on standby. So put the part in water. I usually take my eraser and dip in water. This is the primary tool that I'm using. Um, it actually works pretty well. And then basically all I'll do is I'll just start rubbing Gently. You don't want them to go too hard because if you go too hard, you're going to get to the plastic underneath. Uh, the plastic that this uh, color was was actually kind of a maroon color. So, um, and I don't, so I don't want the primer to come off. And actually, the primer, I sprayed it on there. I don't know, maybe a week ago or so. Um, So, but just because of work and other things and holidays and all this stuff, I mean, it's December. I mean, so, I mean, it's, you know, life's been uh, December in, in 2020. So, <laughs> life's been a little crazy for everyone, I think. Um, but you just got to take your time with this. And eventually, you will start seeing a nice weathering effect. said you just gotta be patient with it and eventually it'll come through 
See, in the, in the process with this, the reason why you need the hairspray is because mm -hmm. the hairspray actually allows the, um, the paint to not completely bond to the plastic. See, there you go. Now I'm starting to get some of that effect coming through. Um, but the plastic, or the, 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 the hairspray, rather, will allow it, allow the paint to actually come off when you use the water to kind of activate the effect, as it were. See, and now I'm starting to get a nice chipping effect. And with a hard bristled brush, um, you could probably get a little bit more control out of it. Um, you know, so if you wanted it maybe a little closer to the panel line, you could get that. Actually, that's working pretty good. Like anything else in model building, this takes time, it takes patience. Um, this is my first time ever attempting any kind of chipping of this manner. Um, usually I would just paint on uh, the chipping effect, but this time around I wanted to try something a little different. Um, and so far I'm actually pretty happy with the effect that I'm achieving. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, because, like, as you get more into something like chipping, weathering, all that kind of stuff, like, the first time you do it, you're like, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then you get better at it, and then you look back at, like, those old models, and you're like, you know, eh, it's not really all that great. Because, like, I did a, I did a B17, um, or a, monog was a monogram, B17, uh, G uh, a little over a year ago now and that was my first real attempt into any type of weathering and I thought it looked pretty good man I look at that thing now and I'm like mm, maybe not so much so and, and and it's not that I did a bad job before it's just that I didn't do I it's not up to my standards now if you if you understand what I mean so um you know, because sometimes you can be your own worst critic. So, and that's that's definitely me. I can definitely be my own worst critic. So, um, and I'm sure probably end up being the case with this thing as I get more and more into the chipping effect. And, you know, maybe once I get myself a nice uh, uh, stiff bristle brush, I'll... I'll look at this thing and I'll be like, yeah, it's not all that great. But, you know, I'm, I'm learning, you know, like anyone else. I'm just here to learn, here to and, and enjoy the hobby. See, and that's, and I think that's pretty good. I don't want to overdo it and, do, and go too crazy um, with the effect. So... And, and the interesting thing is that this ship is weathered everywhere. So let me, let me, um, so I'll do, I'll do it with the soft Q-tip here. Now, the different, because basically all I'm doing is, uh, is I'm, I'm just rubbing the paint away, right? Rubbing the top layer off. And different, here's, here's the other part, um, Different parts or different tools will give you different effects. Um, I've never seen an eraser tip used um, for weathering, but I figured, you know, I would, I would give it a shot. Why not, right? I figure if I really messed it up, I could just go ahead and start over, and you know, and then, uh, you know, just get all the paint off and redo it. Now, typically what they tell you 
to do this method, they tell you to do an enamel base and then a um, uh, acrylic overcoat. After, so you do the you do the enamel base, you do the hairspray, and you do the um, the overcoat, which would be an acrylic. I just went ahead and I did the base, which I think is an acrylic, and then I did the top coat or the, the hairspray, and then in, in the top coat, which is also an acrylic. So, and then this really, all it really does is it just cleans up because what you'll notice is you'll get little bits of paint on there. And then really all this, I'm using this to just kind of clean up what I'm doing. And then the wood dowel, which I haven't used this part. So let's, let's try, let's try this part. So this part, yeah, yeah look. Oh yeah, give you some nice uh, like scratch effects on there. You know, it's actually yeah, that looks looks uh, will look pretty good. Put some nice scratches in there all the way through to the primer. Kind of use them moving in a random fashion. You know, and then you can probably, you can uh, a little more precisely rub away more parts of the paint. And the, the back side, you know, you can do more of the same. You can just get some different little scratch marks and just really make that uh, finish look beat up. Let me rinse that off. I'll just use this to go ahead and So there you have it. There is chipping, um, I guess chipping 101 um, in a nutshell. And so as you can see, you know, using some very basic tools, it actually works out pretty well. Um, so I encourage you to try this one out, see if you like it. Um, you might actually be surprised with the effects. So. I'm having fun with this thing, so figured why not, right? Um, I didn't want a pristine looking ship because um, Boba Fett's ship um, I don't think has ever really been pristine looking, so I definitely wanted something to look like it had been through uh, a few uh, skirmishes. So that's pretty much what I've got going on here. Uh, I hope you guys find this video helpful, informative, uh, on all that kind of stuff. So. Please take a couple of minutes, hit that like button, um, hit the notification button, share my video, subscribe to my channel, all that jazz. Uh, leave some comments if you like what I'm doing here. Um, if you'd like to see more, uh, something or, or something more, you know, demonstrated or maybe better explained, I will do my absolute best to try and accommodate. So, anyway, guys, I will go ahead and sign off and happy modeling. Thank you.